Welcome to Christ Life Today, where we explore the glorious realities of life in Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Robert Dahlman. I am one of the directors of Christ Life, Inc. Christ Life is a ministry that uh, provides many free downloadable PDF files from our website. Uh, visit Christ-like.net and take advantage of what we have to offer. Uh, in this short uh, message, we're going to look at two uh, passages of Scripture that are very popular, and we're going to look at the context of them. Uh, Philippians 4.13 tells us, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And Philippians 4.19 tells us, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So let's go back and look at the context of this. I'm going to read from verse 10 through verse 19. Philippians 4.10 But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at last your care for me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, you always had care for me, but you lacked opportunity. So Paul saying the Philippians finally were able to meet his physical needs again with monetary contributions. We'll see that as we go on. Uh, and Paul saying not that you didn't care, but you just didn't have the chance, but now again you do. So it's faithfulness in their finances and their giving and their stewardship. Uh, Paul says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now there's the context of that. I know how to have a lot, and I know how to suffer need. I can have plenty, I can be hungry. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's an important contextual reference that people often uh, miss when we take that one verse out and don't read the verses before it. Paul saying, yeah, I can handle good, and I can handle bad. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Next time you hear that one used out of context as though I can be Superman and I can do anything I want because of Christ who strengthens me, go back and reread uh, this passage in the context. I know how to do good with a lot, and I know how to do good with nothing. I can be full. I can be hungry. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now we'll go on. <clears throat> Paul says, Notwithstanding, you have done well, and you did uh, communicate with my affliction. They did give monetarily. The Philippians were the one church that gave regularly to Paul uh, in his ministry. You did communicate with my affliction. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel... When I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. So at the beginning, right from the very beginning, the Philippians were faithful givers. They were faithful stewards of, of the money that God had entrusted to their care. And uh, so, right from the beginning of this section, it's about being provided for, having lots, having little, and the Philippians' faithfulness and their stewardship. <clears throat> he goes on to say, For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity. There's repeated giving, at least twice, just in that one verse. Uh, for even in Thessalonica uh, you sent once and again to, unto my necess necessity. You provided for my needs while I preached the gospel, while I ministered to the saints. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Faithfulness in our giving manifests itself in God's record books, is what Paul's saying. That you will have fruit to your account. 
Well, the Philippians were fruitful through Paul and through their faithfulness to give to Paul. But I have all and, uh, and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, the context of that should make us really appreciate that verse. To take the verse 19 out of context and say, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory and by Christ Jesus, and apply that to a stingy, greedy Christian who doesn't give, who doesn't, isn't faithful to God, who isn't faithful to gospel preachers, to apply that verse to a Christian who's, who God can't trust with finances? That's out of context. The context is, but I have all, verse 18, and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Paul is speaking specifically to a generous church, a church who has been faithful from the beginning of the gospel that even no other church but the Philippians communicated to his needs, to his necessity right at the beginning when Paul first came to Philippi. They've been faithful in their giving. In this passage we see they gave at least twice while Paul was in Thessalonica. And Paul speaks of their generosity as a sweet smell to the Lord, a sacrifice well-pleasing to God. And God will not ignore that. He will provide all your needs according to His riches and glory. Be faithful to God. Do what he tells you to do. Be led by his Holy Spirit and be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more information about the ministry God has entrusted to us, please visit our website at www.christ-like.net. Our Christ Life site offers many free downloadable resources. We hope you will visit us online soon and that our ministry will bless and strengthen your Christian life.